What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Jay and Heather with uh, Blue Falcon Urbex Paranormal. Uh, guess you've seen the big news. If you haven't, then now you have. Yeah. Uh, we're here at this abandoned uh, grocery store, like a discount grocery store. Like I don't, I don't know much about it. I know that we used to have, you know, come down here and get like cheap bags of chips and drink whenever we were kids. Um, but it's been abandoned for a while, so we're gonna check it out and. I don't think it's haunted, but if it is, listen for any kind of uh, EVPs you might catch. I don't know. I don't think it's so much of what the house had in it as far as as much as it is what the ground around here is taken in, um, like residual hauntings based on. I mean, this is a huge hot spot for paranormal activity, just because of all the bloodshed that was here. I mean, the Battle of Corinth, Battle of Shiloh. I mean, it was. Pretty freaking bloody. Um, it's cold. We've got our winter hats. We've got our safety masks, which we will be wearing. I've got one right here, too. Um, if you go into places like this, please keep that in mind. Keep that, you know, your health is primary concern whenever you do stuff like this because you don't need to come out and try to do this by yourself. You get hurt. I mean, any number of things could happen. So, always think ahead i've got my bag it's got like all the medical supplies and stuff like that if you're gonna do shit like this be safe about it uh, have a little situational awareness know your exits and don't check out a place solo by yourself you know on the first go always take a group with you a group being you know or more so it's cold i'm trying to get everything set up just want to do an intro right quick and see you on the inside peace Okay, guys, uh, we are now outside the vehicle, checking it out. Uh, Heather, I've got my light off because this is kind of in the middle of town, and I, I'm not doing anything wrong. You know, I kind of have that, hope I've, you know, proved that to everybody throughout the videos we've done, that we don't go to these places to disrespect or break or vandalize or do anything like that. This is mostly curiosity. You know, what's around, what's in your neighborhood that you don't even know exists, you know, because... I mean, I never knew a lot of this it was back here. And a lot of these doors are locked. This one right here is locked. I'm not gonna mess with it. If it's locked, it's don't mess with it, you know? You wouldn't want somebody messing with your shit, so don't go mess with it somebody else's. What I'm doing is simply just walking around and looking. If it's open, I wanna go look. Because, I mean, never really know what kind of people are gonna be in a place like this, so I'm gonna hand her, and it is open. Oof. Hello, is anybody in here? I'm doing a video for YouTube. Hey, click your thing down, make it dimmer. Light tap on the uh there we go. One more time. One more time. We got one more. Nope, okay. One more. Yeah, that worked. You can see I'm also, we're also using our lights kind of dim because this is the front area, like I said. I'm gonna let her take over recording while we clear this place right quick. Okay, you got it? Alright, let's get started back first. I'll make sure nobody up here is in the front. Airborne contaminants. Yay! Let her put hers on. That way, see that she is indeed putting it on. Because we, like I said, health and safety first. You can't explore things if you are sick. So, and it's dark in here, guys. She's gonna take over the camera, and oof. I'm gonna put my gloves on. See? First. Hello, is anybody in here? Right here. See? Just a bunch of juicy hot sauces. Six. 
Hello, is anybody back here? I don't want no trouble to make a video for YouTube. Got one of those Adrenaline pumping. All right, now watch your head right here. It's like butterwood. Hello, is anybody in here? Hello, are you on the camera? Hello. Okay, that's what I think. Identify the source. Okay, guys. Let's head back over. Mm -hmm. And do this. This is too cold for spiders. It's just their webs. See? It's cobwebs. Like this. this was like this last time I was here. Okay, this is the book room. Guys, be careful. You exercise caution because look where that root's giving in. That right there could give you a bad day. And we don't want to have a bad day exploring. But there's bulbs that are like hella toxic for you to bust all the shit. Creepy. <clears throat> and see there's just a lot of empty boxes through here. Oh yeah. No, that looks like a pretty fresh one. You guys can see that. Hmm. Maybe it's not. Okay, I guess we're not going that mm -hmm. way. Are you freaking out? Mm -hmm. <laughs> guys, look at all these spider webs. Mm -hmm. Look more a spider. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Here, walk back through there. We're gonna, <laughs> you want me to walk first so that I can deflect them with my face? Follow me. The pure OSHA violation. Someone got thirsty, bro. Look at that. That's cool. Someone got hella thirsty. Okay. So this is the door I was telling you about last time, right? There's no spider webs in here. Beat the W. Check that out. Like, it's a whole nother room. Like, it's a pretty effing big room. Walk around here and look. <laughs> I mean, I don't think walking's that, but it's boarded up, so no shelves. I guess they're just leaning upon it. Huh. Why don't they put the barricade on this side? Mm -hmm. Does that make any sense to you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, roof's giving in. Mm -hmm. This must have been like storage. Okay, back that way. If you don't want to go to the spider room. Spider room. Yeah, spider webs everywhere. This is gonna make some of you cringe in the video, and I hope it does. I <laughs> look at that. It's like a bag, battery, uh, bag, um, radio thing. That squeaking you heard was my butt as I spun around and. Do you hear something? Hello? Hot water heater. This. Yeah, look how I mean look at how old this thing is. Woof. Let y'all get a whiff of that one. Pretty, pretty nasty. At least there's not like food left in it. But they're all over mice. You can tell that much. <clears throat> These cornmeal. I don't think a, I don't think a person would tear into them like that. <sighs> all right. We'll kill my. Daylight. We're right here in front of this doorway. I don't really want to attract a whole lot of attention. I don't want attention that is. <clears throat> uh, Alright. 
This goes back to the spider room, which we're not going to enter. Or she won't. I'll, I'll go in there. Check this out. What's that say? Why? Why can't I? Dale, you're not the boss of me. They just didn't want people coming in here and boo-booing. <laughs> like, that last time that boy come in here and blow my crapper up. Out of order. What's up? You knew that was coming. Uh, here's the spider room she's so terrified of. Oh, God, look at that. <laughs> last time I was in here, there was a mouse. It's perched up there. Really cool. But you can come kind of close in here. It's not like as bad. It's just not one corner. Not coming in here? Sissy. Yeah. I like they had the old, uh, I don't know, it looks like something you see on Bourbon Street. Hello? Guys, get you a good flashlight. It'll pay itself off in the long run. And keep your batteries charged. Can't tell you how much it hurts me. People are like, oh, I like going exploring, but my batteries keep dying because ghosts. Well, yes, that may be the case sometimes, but for the most part, you didn't charge your shit, so. You wanna know how I know this? Because I'm that guy. Look at that checkerboard. Wanna be checkerboard. I'm glad we're wearing masks, you know that? It's a ceiling tile or two. From oh, okay. That makes sense. Huh. And you can't get in Dale's bathroom. Like his ghost has this shit on lock. Not screwed anywhere. That I can see. <sighs> Probably gonna regret this. Okay, not gonna pull that. <laughs> Dale, your restroom is locked. Although it is unlocked. And I'm not going to invade your privacy, sir. See? Handle does turn. Door won't move. Good on you, Dale. We're just testing your... Uh... Yeah. Whew. All right. Back out of the spider room. Had like a big bar looking deal all the way around it, like a kitchen area. Do we look in the kitchen area? It's okay. Mm -hmm. Stove. I guess you use this place for storage. I don't know. That's cool though. I like that. It's like the whole from an architectural standpoint. Yeah, right off the main road, guys. And although we're not doing anything illegal, still don't want to, you know, attract unnecessary attention. Somebody drank their 40 up in here. Mm. Milwaukee's beast. Uh, sorry, I just got sick a little bit in my, in my mask. Because Milwaukee's best. Whew. This would be a cool little place to have like a I don't know, like a book store or something. What? What are you stomping your foot for? Oh, okay. What that thing is. Wood boards, wood doors. You know, it's probably really old. It's cool though. Shows they're handmade. And get through it this way. I had like a little cubby room. Uh, 
this right here and check the stand where you're at. Step back. Okay. All right, guys. That's all we got for this place. It's kind of small. I uh, wanted to do a walk around the property, but I just didn't want. There's a lot of stuff that I have to blur out, like names wise and stuff. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and check out this abandoned playground. And you're on. You're coming with us. Should we be shooting? Time to get spooky. Peace.